let's uh, take a little bit closer look at this. Okay, now this is why it's called uh, recirculating ball. Okay, you've probably heard that it's a recirculating ball uh, steering mechanism or whatever. So, without taking this apart, because yeah, we could, I just really don't feel like it. You can take this strap off, you can pull these two tubes off, okay? Now these tubes are made in two split pieces because trying to bend a uh, that accurate of a radius for those balls to uh, fit in and go in would have been a really hard machining-wise, certainly back uh, in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Uh, they could probably do it now, probably much different technology. They don't build these anymore that I know of, it's all rack and pinion, but... Uh, uh, anyway, this is a ball screw. Okay, CNC machines use the same thing. There is zero play, okay? There's just a tiny bit of wiggle that way, but linearly, you know, back and forth, there is zero, okay? Um, and that's why they do it uh, with a ball screw. Uh, the other thing, too, is is a ball screw, is an Acme screw is the kind you see, like uh, all thread, okay? They've got very hard angles and square shoulders and everything like that, basically. They hold a ton of uh, torque, um, and you can put a high loads on them and stuff like that, but with this, you would have to spin your steering wheel back to center every time, okay? Uh, with this, you know, you can literally... Um, I don't know if I can do it here at the same time, because the, the whole shaft's... Uh, uh, yeah, I can't get the shaft to spin in the tube. Um, but, but, uh, anyway, in your, in your car, the, uh, yeah, see, there you go. There we go. I'm just doing it wrong. If you turn all the way to one side, the force of the caster on your car wanting to put the wheels back straight will push your sector shaft back to center. And you see just how easy that b the ball screw makes the shaft turn. That's why your steering can come back to center. Um, and, uh, kind of getting out of the picture there a little bit there, so... Oh, uh, it's kind of cool how it does that, and it'll do it the other direction. It's just easier for me to do. I'm really not squeezing very hard either. Uh, I just can't do it the other direction because uh, it'll just pull right out of the shaft. So, uh, and this block, uh, it looks like it's steel. It looks like it's copper coated, maybe. Um, not exactly sure why or whatever, but uh, on the other end here, there is the same kind of bearing that was on the, uh, the front end here. Okay, and if you look, I haven't measured it, but you see that uh, that polished uh, part of the shaft right down there that's after the, the bearing race? That should be the same diameter as this, okay? If you, that would be the trick, would be to put that piece on this end, you know? If you, if you could cut this off, flip it over so that the screw goes the other direction. Okay, then you could put it on a right-hand drive. If you're converting your vehicle to right-hand drive, you could literally just get another one of these in the housing. The 520 housing is reversible. Uh, the 521 is not. Uh, but that's a whole other subject. But you need, you need these threads, the ball screw threads, to go the other direction, okay, for right-hand drive. This is a left-hand drive. Um, so you could swap the guts out or whatever. Uh, in this case, on a 521, you'd have to swap the whole housing and everything, so why take it apart? But uh, anyway, that's a long-winded look at uh, the uh, the actual guts, the ball screw that we're dealing with there. And uh, really pretty simple. Um, and I think that's it. All right, just a quick shot here. See, the, in the drawing here, you can see the balls, the recirculating balls, okay? Um, where it... Uh, where it comes out over here, you know, because you can see the block there, there's the taper of the gear. This is the end of the block right here, and then that's the tubing pieces that stick up out of the end there. Okay, and so those balls just make a continuous uh, loop around there, and they're all fairly uh, close together. Uh, if you look at the other one... Now, the balls on the end here, those aren't actually there. Uh, Basically, it runs through the tubing there, and the tubing goes to a couple of the nearer ones, and uh, there's balls down in between, but not all the way out at the edges here. Uh, so, uh, um, yeah, you can you can even see in the inside the end of the block there that they're uh, they're in there just a little bit. So, uh, that's those are the recirculating balls. Let's uh, start looking at the steering shaft with the column off and start talking about uh, shortening the steering column.